2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6. I always say the same thing when I come on. Uh, if you're old like me, you'll probably remember that from the offspring in the 90s. Um, this is the Midwestern Whisper. This is Whisper 83. Um, might just talk about some of uh, my little pet peeves and my own life. Uh, it's not a really negative video, or uh, whisper. Uh, uh, it, this is just a, it's a little things. Yeah, might even be a little funny. Uh, so uh, don't think me uh, getting real negative because I'm not gonna be. Okay, my first uh, real negative feelings. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, one pet beef that uh, has really been getting to me lately is this computer. January of 2009, I bought this computer. Okay, it wasn't state of the art, but it was uh, kind of expensive. And it uh, was one of the first computers to have a uh, quad core processors. Okay, uh, and it, for the time, had a good deal of RAM. So, you know, I, I, it's an HP. Okay, so it wasn't as expensive as an Alienware or a, a Sony, but, uh, I mean, it, it was pricey. More, more expensive than the average computer, and I didn't get the monitor with it, so... Anyway, I uh, suspected that it would be a good computer for several years. Almost right out of the box, it started crashing. And uh, this was the first computer that I had had that had Vista on it. So, my my dad, which is an amateur uh, programmer, and knows a lot about computers, uh, began to think right away that it was Vista. Uh, we tried the updates, uh, tried various things. Uh, we read the uh, crash reports, the logs, and it just seemed like it was, it was Vista. Wow, trying a few different things uh, didn't help. Um, and then after a while, it, it didn't crash as much. Uh, there for a while, it was crashing uh, every day. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it got to be about once a week, and then sometimes less. But uh, but then it, it would come back to it, and uh, then we thought that maybe it was overheating. That uh, the fans weren't uh, powerful enough to keep uh, four processors cool. Well, um, I took to uh, leaving the side panel off the computer to see if that helped cool it. And that really wasn't the problem. Uh, long story short, uh, here we are, uh, more than two and a half years later. And I've uh, put it back to factory condition three or four times in that time. Thinking that, you know, it just needed too many programs, um, bits and pieces of files that didn't get deleted, etc. Well, I restored it to factory condition uh, last week, or maybe the week before now, and it's running worse than it ever. Um, yeah, we've tried to figure everything out possible, but uh, I think what it comes down to is that uh, technology was... Uh, not properly tested at the time this computer was made. It, it's probably the first, if not the, or close to the first, uh, commercial processor in a computer. So, basically, uh, I paid close to a thousand dollars for, uh, a computer that's given me a lot of hassle and I'm gonna have to replace soon anyway. I'd hoped that it would last me at least five or six years. We're only at a little over two and a half, and uh, I don't see it lasting much longer, which is really disappointing. Um, but I, that's the only conclusion I can come, well, come up with. But that's all right. I mean, I have definitely uh, gotten gotten my share of use out of this computer, and when it works, it's nice. I like it still to this day. Um, you know, it's a good computer when it wants to run and work right. Uh, I miss my older computers, especially the ones with X XP on them. I had one um, 
machine. Yeah. And I was a little reluctant to buy it from Walmart. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I think that thing may, might have crashed the two, two or three years that I had that computer. I think it crashed once. <laughs> this one, you just never know when it's going to be flighty. But, uh, gotta have my computers. I love my computers. I do a lot of different things with them. Um, I'm doing another, doing another video while my last one was, uh, is uploading. It's, a uh, you know, by the time you hear this, I'm sure you'll know, but, uh, it's, a uh, an outdoors video whisper. And I haven't done one of them for a while, so. But it, it's showing a six hour upload time. <laughs> It's one o'clock in the afternoon now, and yeah, it'll be supper time when the thing's done. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, another uh, little pet beef I have, um, and of course, you know, these are just small things. It's nothing like I sit there and, and throw things across the room because I'm angry, but uh, as you probably know, I live in an apartment complex. Okay, the way this complex is set up, there are townhouses in the front, and then you have the main part of the complex, and there's multiple buildings that have uh, two bedroom units, and then there's another two sets of uh, townhouse buildings in the back side, and that's where I live. And uh, the townhouses obviously cost a lot more than the small units. So, you know, my rent's not cheap, but uh, sometimes we cannot find a place to park. When my wife was still working, uh, she worked an odd night shift, uh, well, not second shift, but went into third. You know, that was a little understandable, because everybody was home and sleeping. But uh, sometimes during the day, you cannot even find a place to park, especially on the weekend. I'm thinking, I'm paying all this rent, <laughs> more than most of you, and I can't even find a place to park. I gotta go park, and uh, this is a fair size um, complex, so I gotta park right in the front and walk like two city blocks back here. <laughs> uh, no, it's not gonna kill me. Uh, I'm not infirmed, but uh, yeah, we are carrying a baby. When I get groceries, I usually get a lot of groceries, so I gotta make about three trips from the car. You know, a little, little bit more than it, just a little inconvenient. But uh, what am I gonna say? You know, I I want a private spot. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. And you know, the only thing that annoys me a little about that is that uh, we have two cars. You know, you're allowed one car per adult. Uh, we don't always need to drive two cars. Obviously, sometimes, you know, we ride together, so, you know, when I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use that car that day, I'll park it further away from the house to be courteous to people that, you know, want to park closer to their, their place. But, uh, there's not separate parking for visitors here, so all these people's visitors come and park in my spot where my primary car doesn't even have a spot. <laughs> That's a little annoying. Um, I think these people would uh, ask their visitors to park further back, or they would just do it on their own. Instead of parking right in front of your, your place, when they don't live here. 
while we were in the hospital. And with the excitement of the baby and uh, family and whatnot, I forgot about eBay. So this person bought this uh, like a week ago and I had not sent it out. And uh, I felt bad. I mean, I had a legit reason, but uh, I still felt bad. I usually, well, I give a one day uh, handling time. So technically that person could have been angry with me, but uh, yeah, I'd like to get it out in the mail as soon as possible because that's what I would expect as a buyer. I explained things to her and she was, she was decent. So I can remember when my sister used to sell a lot on eBay. She used to make children's clothes she had actually had a pretty good business for a while. Uh, she was actually uh, supporting half her, her household on this business. So she had a lot. She dealt with it every day. And uh, I, she, would, she would get mad because she didn't believe people that would say they had family emergencies. You know, given reasons why they didn't pay right away, primarily. But, uh, you know, dealing with it on that level, I don't she was right, but, you know, there's always the chance the person's telling the truth, too, you know, I mean, you know, but she got real cynical with it after a while, and I suppose, you know, I've, I've worked with the public in several jobs, it was not my own business, but, uh, um, I know that not everybody's nice in the public, um, I would say 98 out of a hundred people are nice. There might be, uh, well, maybe not quite that many. <laughs> maybe 95. Four of them might just be in a hurry and they're not that polite or whatever. And one is your, your, uh, quote unquote complainer. Your, you can't make them happy no matter what you do. They're looking for something to complain about. And, uh, it's kind of unfortunate Sometimes that can throw your day off if you let it. Yeah, you know, just that one person when every, almost everyone is nice. And you know, usually I could I could uh, shrug it off. Um, because I, well, for one thing, I was very professional when I dealt with the public. Um, and it's not the other people's fault that this one person is uh, negative. So back to this eBay thing, uh, yeah, but she just, uh, she's kind of like me, she's, my sister's quick to temper, um, and, uh, stresses out easily, uh, both of our parents are kind of like that, um, uh, as you probably know, my mother's argumentative, my dad's quick to get angry, but he's not that argumentative, but his, his anger is usually about the unfairness of the world, he doesn't trust uh, people in uh, Washington. He doesn't uh, trust the police. Uh, I don't know what, what his reasoning on that is exactly, but yeah. But anyway, but I got I, I got the the train set mailed out uh, within a couple hours of realizing my error. So. Hopefully it'll all come out in a positive in the end. And I mean that literally, a positive on eBay. <laughs> okay, uh, what else? My wife took her first trip to her mother's today with the baby. As you might also know if you follow my whispers, that uh, she used to go down there every Saturday to spend time with her family since she's not from this town. It's about 35 miles. So not real far. Uh, she's getting the baby's picture taken today, professionally. Uh, yeah, it just seems like yesterday that we did that with my son. And it's been almost six years. And it really only seems like uh, last week with my first daughter. Same thing, but that was uh, 
16 years ago. So, um, yeah, time sure does fly, whether you're having fun or not. Uh, kind of on that note a little bit, uh, I noticed that uh, I'm older than the average whisperer. I am 37. I'm definitely not the oldest one. I've seen older people than me. And that's fine, you know, all ages is cool to me. I don't have a problem with that. I don't care if you're uh, 18 or 80. Black, white, purple polka dot. You know, it's, it's all good. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm just kind of rambling here, but uh, kind of made me think of something else. It's probably not everybody's favorite thing, but occasionally I do like to watch South Park, the animated cartoon, you know, the adult cartoon. I don't watch it, you know, as soon as one comes out, you know, but I'll, I'll watch one once in a while. Uh, especially with, uh, since we got Netflix, you know, I've been watching a couple here and there. You know, and I've, obviously I've missed a lot of the show's been on for 15 seasons. Um, so I'm just randomly watching them here and there, you know, and I'm not, uh, easily offended, usually. Um, and if you're watching South Park, you know, that's their whole purpose, is to make fun and to offend. Yes, sometimes they have a message in there if you actually look for it. But, uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to go, how do you even say this? This one who has, a uh, Okay, basically, um, the, sh the cartoon starts where the, the one of the dads is on uh, Wheel of Fortune, and he accidentally said, uh, tries to solve the puzzle and um, says the N word, the big no no word, and uh, how everybody gets down on him for it, and uh, the kid's son. down on him, and uh, I was actually pretty offended by it, and uh, like I said, you gotta take South Park with a grain of salt, but I was like, wow, do they really need this, and they were actually saying it, I don't know if that's just Netflix, or if they would have bleeped it out, uh, if you watched it on Comedy Central, but I was like, wow, do you really need to say it this many times, <laughs> and the, the little boy's trying to apologize to the little black boy and he, he's not forgiving him even though it was his dad but at the very end the boy uh, finally understands that what the little black boy wanted him to say is not that I'm sorry or that my dad didn't mean it in a hateful way what he meant wanted him to understand was that he's never going to understand being that he's a white boy, that the, if that word is said to you, being uh, African American, you know how it hurts. You know that uh, being uh, the majority, like a white person is, uh, you'll never understand what's that, what it's like to have some hateful thing like that said to you. Not that white people don't get, uh, you know, racist remarks as well, but, uh, and I actually thought that, the, and that's where it ended. And it, then the little black boy just said, uh, thank you, dude, and it was over. Um, majority of it was offensive to me just for the fact that they kept saying the word over and over and over. <laughs> uh, I didn't really feel like they needed to say it that many times, but, but there was a kind of a, a moral moral on South Park. Yes, they do have morals on South Park on occasion. Not every episode, for sure, but uh, so, offended, but yet, at the end, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, you could say they were trying, you know, felt the need to, but bottom line, it, it kind of, in a weird way, made me think of all this controversy, because uh, they kept calling him the N-word guy. Everywhere, whites and blacks, everybody was saying it about him. You know, basically like he, um, he was being, 
um, uh, prejudice against, they were being prejudiced against him because he used that word. Um, it kind of, in a weird way, made me think about, you know, how everybody jumped me when I made those comments. <laughs> weird, right? But, uh, just like on the cartoon, in the end, it all worked out. So, and I'm still here. <laughs> Amazingly enough, I still have a few subscribers. Now, you guys are good. You guys are awesome. And I enjoy doing this for you, for me. If I didn't, I would be done by now. So, thinking about maybe on my next whisper, um, doing another drawing. It's been a while. Trying to decide what to do. Um, I do primarily cartoon characters, so. Uh, if, you, if you got any uh, um, idea for one for me or suggestion, you know, feel free to. Scout 